Welcome to a broadcast of the recent Lorain County Commissioner's General Meeting. Unless otherwise announced, meetings are held Wednesday morning at 9.30 at the Administration Building, 226 Middle Avenue, 4th Floor, Downtown Elyria. These are public meetings and you are invited to attend. Agendas are posted prior to the meeting at www.lorraincounty.us. Click on Departments to see the Commissioner's page, then click on View Agenda. Good morning. Can we stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Welcome to Lorain County Board of Commissioners meeting, December 5th, 2018. Commissioner Lundy. Our inspirational word for the day, a soft answer puts away wrath as water puts out fire. Madam Clerk. Um, okay, hold on. Yes, I didn't do investments this week, did I? Okay. No investments. Uh, appropriations. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Transfers. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Advances and repayments. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Requisitions. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Monday. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Travel. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Monday. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Bills. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Monday. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. I don't know. He, he just left. I, I said him. I told him to go. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Authorized various personnel actions and minute came in the summary sheet from employees within jurisdiction Lane County Commissioners. Mr. Cortez. Thank you, Commissioner Kalo. <coughs> I um, do have a number of personnel issues this morning, potential <coughs> hires in maintenance, the collection center, <coughs> possibly 911. Also, I want to discuss, I wish to discuss those potential hires with the board. I also wish to discuss ongoing labor negotiations uh, in addition to one pending legal matter and one sale of real estate. All of those issues allowable under Sunshine Act for executive session discussion. So I'd ask at the conclusion of our regular board meeting, we go into executive sessions, talk about those matters that I've identified. Thank you. Thank you. Approve way of the reading of the minutes of November 14th. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. London. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Approve change order number one to carry on asphalt paving ink. Solon in the credit amount of $51,205.23. This was due to a decrease in contract price and final work quant quantities performed on parking lot improvements. So moved. Second. Discussion. This is my kind of credit amount, 51 grand. <laughs> Beautiful. Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Children and Families approve and enter in a contract with Neighborhood Alliance in the amount of $245,192 for purchase of delivery and services. For the Help Me Grow Early Intervention Program for fiscal year 19, effective January 1st, 2019 through June 30th, 2019, funds will be used for children 0 to 3 that are diagnosed with delays or disabilities. So moved. Second. Discussion. <coughs> Mr. Kahlo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Community Development authorized agreement with Lorraine Metropolitan Housing Authority for tenant based rental assistance using program year 18 CHIP funds in the amount of 15000 these funds will assist 15 low, moderate income households countywide, excluding the cities of Lorraine, Elyria, and Vermillion. So moved. Second. Discussion? 
Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Rolandi. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Engineer, approve and enter in contract with Mastermind LLC Delaware in the amount of 7000 to complete the safety studies for speed zone at five locations. The NoDOT Federal Highway Administration will reimburse 6300 So moved. Second. Discussion? Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Rolandi. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Approve and enter in contract with Mastermind LLC Delaware in the amount of 7000 to complete the safety studies for no passing zones. And then ODOT Federal Highway Administration will reimburse ten thousand six hundred four dollars. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kelly. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Prosecutor Treasurer, accept and journalize the DRETAC appropriation and expenditure report is submitted by Lorain County Treasurer and Prosecutor, pursuant to ORC three two one point two six one. Revenue generated for two thousand eighteen was five hundred nineteen thousand eight hundred thirty nine dollars and eighty two cents. In 2009, estimate of anticipated revenue will be approximately 850000 <coughs> Tax Unit Prosecutor's Office has expended 378000 anticipates another 15000 by the end of the year, and the Treasurer spent $396,361.31. So moved. Second. Discussion? Yeah, does the, uh, th those for the Prosecutor and the Treasurer come out of the DRETAC money? They split the DRETAC money. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a formula that's used. <clears throat> and that's uh, that's a lot of the areas that Chris and his staff are paid out of, and then we we supplement additional uh, staffing <clears throat> and more and Chris's salary when we use uh, our portion of the three tax vis-a-vis -vis mm -hmm. the land bank. Okay. Uh, but this is a standard formula uh, each year, and they're required to report the split and the expenditures. Okay. It's routine. All right. Thank you. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Treasurer approved payment to U.S. Bank in the amount of $1,260 for their annual lockbox fees. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Sheriff approved the 2019 open dump enforcement agreement with the sheriff at a cost not to exceed $204,018.24. So moved. Second. Discussion. Mr. Kalo. Aye. Mr. Lundy. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Public comment. Anyone wishing to address the board this morning? Yes, yep, come on up. It's been a little froggy this morning, too. Um, Robin Burns, City of Amherst resident. I appreciate your time this morning. Um, also, I interested, um, I am owner of a local construction company. So, my question to you is the status on Green Acres. Golden Acres? Golden mean? Acres, I'm sorry, yes. As far as what? As far as the contract award where that. Um, process is going at this time which one <laughs> don't mean to be a, a, not the roofing section but the HVAC boiler replacement the the HVAC has been awarded but it's it's on hold okay uh, I the uh, and when I say awarded uh, we already selected but we have not passed the resolution authorizing the work yet because looking okay. at the at the uh, um, the roof bids when they come in because those are integrated together because you have to lift a lot of stuff off the roof uh, but I can tell you <clears throat> just from from uh, my last week I believe it's Bay Mechanical that was the high I am the owner of Bay okay <laughs> the Bay Mechanical but right now there's some complications that we're, we're holding on and I think Bay's been informed of this. I don't know who at Bay but they've called our facilities manager a couple times and we've indicated that uh, those bids will go forward when we we have a, a, a clear line of sight to a resolution of some challenges that are being faced to uh, move into recovery one mm -hmm. um, the and of course the roof work cannot start more than likely now until the springtime anyhow correct so um, I don't know when we're moving forward on that I, I hope uh, probably we only have two more board meetings I can't promise it's gonna even happen this year until I get the rest of the bids take a look at what we have what we're operating with obviously the levy defeat was a was a bit of an issue with Golden Acres converting to recovery one I think there's still a, a path forward we're trying to uh, get our feet firmly on that path forward uh, but uh, at this time as I indicated I do not have a clear line of sight to that complete resolution and I don't want to present something to the board that we we do and then we don't have any outcome okay I appreciate that the information sure. we were given was very vague so and, and I apologize for that we, we, you know until I don't like to tell people something until I'm absolutely sure it's going to happen because they they kind of bank on that and then they get disappointed <laughs> later on I, I know Bay's a good employer in our community big operation do great work mm -hmm. really I appreciate, appreciate that. that appreciate working together and mm -hmm. as soon as we know something uh, I think you'll know something but okay. you are the apparent 
best bidder on that job. Correct. Yeah, I just I wasn't sure. Obviously, there's a lot of word on the street, and I would have wanted more of a direct answer. It, it would I have been it that. would have been a lot easier had the had the levy succeeded. Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, we, we, we definitely have a more aggressive approach to, mm -hmm. to moving forward. We were trying to run a lot of things concurrently, and of course we've, we've had this, this, this bit of a bend in, in, mm -hmm. the, in the past. So we'll figure it out. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And I appreciate Thank taking you. the time to put the bid in. I know that takes sure. work, and I know mm -hmm. that's cost, you know, and, and cost and so mm -hmm. forth. So uh, hopefully we'll move, we'll move in a good direction. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, I want to be clear. We're still having discussions, looking at a path forward on the project. Um, you know, we also were looking at quotes on roofing and everything else. So, I mean, there's lots of moving parts here. And, and certainly <laughs> in this weather, we're not going to be doing anything till the spring anyhow. So, but, uh, so apologize that you weren't getting some answers there, or vague answers. But uh, that's uh, basically the reason why. Anyone else? Madam Clerk? Mr. Cortez. Well, I was really glad I could answer the question pretty easily mm -hmm. this morning. <laughs> um, well, first of all, my, my condolences to my assistant of almost 19 years, Sandy Strozak's mom passed this weekend. Uh, I was out to see the family last night. Um, I don't know what I would do without Sandy. We've been, we've been work partners for uh, 19 years. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're more than work partners. We're, we're, we're great friends too. Um, I feel for her family, and, and I, I've known her children since they were not quite knee high, but but very young. And and I, I feel them as a part of my family. So uh, um, my heart goes out to them today. Unfortunately, we're not able to be with them this morning at at the service. It's this morning. It'll be going on just very here shortly. Uh, but uh, they're a wonderful bunch of people, wonderful family, and uh, and I, I I hope they uh, they. Um, they don't grieve too long. Now, with that said, um, you guys want to talk about transit a little bit? Yeah, we could do that, sir. Well, let me pass this. I guess I'll give it to the president of the board. I, only, I didn't have a lot of copies. That said, with, with Ms. Strozak out the last several days, I don't know how to use the copy machine. Uh, <laughs> The, the, uh, you should have borrowed Tony and her it's, it's It's a little bit complex. I go in there to use it, and I look at it, and it has more buttons and more <laughs> things than it does. I think you have to have a password. You have to have your password code, too. I can't even remember my phone them. number. Never mind the Nobody password. Nobody will give them a password. The, the <laughs> occasionally, Lisa or Karen will come by and have pity on me and uh, find me in there trying to operate it. For a while, they wouldn't let me touch it, because every time I touched it, I broke it. Right. So uh, I apologize for not having multiple copies. Uh, these are really nice. They're in color. I couldn't even begin this, to do any of that stuff. Uh, Commissioner, you want to take a look at the that's the press release. So some of the information is contained there. If you maybe you want to you want to read it or you want to ask questions about it, and we can talk about the uh, putting on a downtown Elyria do loop service. Uh, in regards to Lorraine County Transit Board of Commissioners, uh, I'm pleased to announce a new Lorraine County Transit route will be offered in downtown Elyria. The downtown Elyria loop is effective starting Monday, December 17th. The service will run Monday through Friday from 7.15 a.m. to 5 p.m., and it will be a free service to everyone that boards the bus. I, I kept the press release simple. It's a little bit more complicated than that. Um, the loop will, will stop at uh, several desirable locations. So in the morning, uh, between the hours of 7.15 and 9, right around 9 o'clock, uh, we'll be running two buses. And it'll be coming through Washington Avenue, the Transportation Center, um, UH. It'll stop down by the Save a Lot, the Walgreens. It'll hit the library, uh, health and dentistry, uh, the Justice Center, the County Admin Building, and I, I'm not completely sure if we're able to stop over by uh, Metro Housing, but they can come over here. It's just right, right down the block. Uh, we're going to be teasing that loop a bit uh, as as we start to run it and see utilization on off times. Right now, it appears you can complete the loop in 25 <coughs> to 28 minutes. Uh, it'll, again, hit some key spots. Uh, did I mention the library? It also yes. gets down yes. to the library. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it presented a unique opportunity. We always have problems with jurors parking. The problems are exacerbated in the winter, coming up from that Washington Avenue lot. It's really terrible. A lot of times the sidewalks aren't cleared. People are walking in the road. They're walking in the slush. Um, 
I, I put a call in to Sherry Clouser yesterday to talk to her about this. I didn't. I should have talked to her earlier, but I hadn't gelled up all the pieces yet. But this loop will be able to get people from the Washington lot up to uh, the Justice Center if they're on 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 uh, jury duty, or anybody else that parks in the Washington lot needs to come up and, and visit the facilities here. As we know, parking is at a premium, and in the wintertime we lose a lot of parking because of the plowing and right. the snow piles. Um, the, so in the morning, that's usually when we have a cluster of people in that two-hour period, there'll be two. That'll cut the time down to about 12, 15 minutes. Right. The bus will be leaving that lot. Uh, and then in the afternoon at 3.15 to 5, we'll run two buses again because that's usually when work is concluding for a lot of folks or they're mm -hmm. returning home from appointments. Um, I... I uh, I hope this helps with what's going on. I, I don't want to go to another winter without trying to address the problem with the jury parking. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Now, the service is completely free. Anybody can get on the bus. Anybody can get off the bus. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that because I need to run uh, a bus route in order to use my FTA funding the and, dollars. and rolling stock and so forth. We received uh, a few new buses a couple weeks ago. We have them in service now. We pulled a few out of services. We're working on cleaning them up. They'll be running this route first. I'm also looking to buy two larger buses and if, if the need's there. Uh, right now we use 24 passenger buses. With standing room, we can get about 35 people on the bus. So you got butts and seats and you got straps holding mm -hmm. on. So we can accommodate quite a few people uh, especially since we have two buses moving at the at the peak times, I don't think that we'll be overcrowded. In the afternoon, yeah, people are going to see the bus with maybe one or two, three people on the loop. So before they even say it, <laughs> that's just the way the loops run. That's right. that's the way bus service Supply is. <laughs> and but this will be able to move people. A lot of folks over here at the at housing uh, mm -hmm. metro housing do not have transportation there's a few cars over there but there's not many if you look at the size of the building and the small parking lot with a few vehicles in it you can see that they're not abundant this will be able to move them to the drugstore and save a lot to the hospital also solve some of the jury issues I'm hopeful uh, and alleviate some of the burden on the parking downtown the bus will actually enter the parking lots it won't be on the street it'll enter the transportation parking lot the Washington Avenue parking lot there, um, there will be no shelters People can remain in their car, the bus comes in, they can get out of the car, get on a warm bus. But I'm not going to try to put up a shelter and shelter people. This is, I really want them to stay in their automobiles. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't have safety as a concern, it's, it's a daytime service. And then we'll see. Now before I'm asked, because we will be asked about what the cost of this is, uh, with, with both running two buses uh, in the morning and the afternoon and one all through the day, uh, the the uh, local share for this is about seventy eight thousand dollars. That's based upon a year of service. When we try yeah. to move just the jurors with with a driver and a, and a bus, we're spending close to that, right. and and not producing any other outcome. We can take what what it would cost us just to be shuttling people, amplify that into two bus routes with matching funds from the federal government and provide a lot of service to a lot of people. Can't tell you it's going to work for sure, uh, but I, I don't want to give up on it until maybe the springtime we can reevaluate it and, and see if it's really, it's helped out. I don't have much else to say about it. There's probably going to be some people that are poor at having it. There's going to be some critics that are wondering why we're doing it. That goes without saying. Well, I just think at this point, uh, and the jury parking has always been an issue, and parking in Leary itself has always been an issue with everyone, especially in the winter time with again losing spaces with the plowing. So I think you know this route here servicing, again a free route that they can run. And plenty of times I've been downtown Cleveland and used a free route they've got moving around uh, from venues. That I mean, this will provide a significant service, especially to the Walgreens, UH Hospital for our residents, health and dentistry, and health and dentistry. Healthy. Uh, along with them being able to get their drugstore and or their grocery shopping plus service the government entity part of it. So I think it's, it's a win-win all the way around. We'll give it a test run for six months during the worst months, see how it works. So now, There'll probably be some hiccups, so people are going to have to be a bit right. patient. Uh, I, 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 I want to 
thank Pam and First Transit for working on this routing and uh, uh, cobbling this together in, in some usable format. Um, there'll be, I know when, when, if the juries are called and they're using this service off the Washington Avenue parking lot, the bus may get a little crowded, so I don't, I don't want to get people too frustrated. Mm -hmm. The reason we're running a complete day route is juries let out right. when they let out. Mm -hmm. Once you're seated, they're called when they're they're called so we can't just simply run it in the morning and, and run it late in the day because in between people may be released and they right. they need to go back that way could be a little longer for the bus because that's going to be on about a 25 to 28 minute loop depending on boarding and and uh leaving the bus so everything we do always ends up with complaints rather than praise but you asked me to take a look at this this is what i can come up with we can begin on the 17th it's your decision. I think this is a good out of the box approach, you know, trying to look at uh, maximizing a route. Uh, I can tell you that I had several people, even before I got elected, saying to me, something's got to be done about helping the jurors out, getting the Justice Center. I think we've all heard that, whether somebody is uh, older, has a disability, you know, just uh, tromping through the snow to try to get up to the Justice Center from down there on Washington. But, but I think the important thing is that it's, this is going to help connect a lot of people uh, in the downtown area with a lot of their daily needs, uh, whether it be uh, running to the drugstore, the grocery store, the library, the bank. Um, so I, I, I look at the route. I, I don't think we could have really put together a, a much better route. Uh, for a downtown circulator, and uh, uh, and it's free. It, it's free because Fairbox does not get matched. Right. right. And I, I cannot tell somebody that's coming to go shopping from somebody that's coming for jury duty. Mm -hmm. right. you know, they don't have a tag on their head. Mm -hmm. right. So I, I, don't, I don't know who to let on the bus not. But if we use Fairbox, we, we receive no lev leverage to the dollars. Right. Uh, the other piece is that I, I hope to use the Transportation Center parking lot on Broad a lot more fully uh, because we can park on Washington and, and, and that lot because the, the shuttle will go to both. That'll give some options uh, because not a, a lot of times, sometimes there's not enough room when the plowing starts and, right. and so mm -hmm. forth and a couple of those lots. We've heard that concern also. No, uh, looking forward to it. Yeah. I, I, there's going to be some glitches, but you know, it's a start. And okay. again, the community routes work. For those most in need, I think they don't need to go across. It's not going to be able to give us the service to the college and such as we'd like to have, but that's maybe someday when well, they, we have they, a they will have college service. They 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 can actually take this loop to the transportation Station center, center and pick connect, up the area right. loop. But I mean, it's not the full service free, we'd though. like to have. That 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 would not be free. Right. It's, it's it's right now it's a reduced cost. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, but you know. There's still, does this alleviate our transportation problem in Wayne County? No, no. not even close. But, uh, but it helps these, an immediate need downtown. Right. So. A absolutely. I, I too have been places where they run small loop routes. Mm -hmm. Nashville down in the Gulch. Yep. Down exactly. the district down there. A couple weeks ago. Uh, Atlanta has a small mm -hmm. downtown. They're not very big. They, mm -hmm. they, they run in the main areas to mm -hmm. just move people across. Uh, some of the heavily visited uh, uh, tourist areas, and they seem to do real well. The only problem is when tourists come in, they don't really understand the, that loop very quickly, but mm -hmm. if you visit it once or twice, you find out that they, they move people very efficiently in those loops. Uh, I can't promise you that here, but I can tell you it's a starting point. I'm really, uh, really uh, optimistic about getting something done here and, and hopeful that this will produce real value. Wonderful. Like anything new, all you can do is, uh, you know, kind of monitor it as you go and make proper adjustments. And uh, but it's it's definitely a step in the right direction. And with downtown areas in general losing parking, mm -hmm. lots of downtown areas have lost parking over the decades. Mm -hmm. You can see more and more of these loop services in the downtown from outlets. I think the biggest transporter right now loop service is uh, Cleveland Clinic over on the east side. Their employees mm -hmm. park way off, mm -hmm. and they run their own shuttle loops. Uh, to bring the employees in. I mean, right. they'll pick up uh, patients and so forth mm -hmm. uh, that are in, in outlots, but mostly it's, it's shuttling their employees to work because mm -hmm. all the surface parking close to the, to the clinic has been absorbed with new facilities out there. Mm -hmm. right. I'm I, excited. I'm looking forward to this. Well, that's all I really have this morning, uh, and I'll yield to council. Thank you. Mr. Annis? Um, I have a couple of ongoing um, litigation updates but I have no new 
litigation. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Commissioners. Uh, well, this past Thursday, I attended a meeting that the Alcohol and Drug Board uh, held at Loring County Community College, which was um, mostly for first responders, but anyone interested in learning more about the opiate uh, crisis was uh, invited to attend. Dr. Evans, our coroner, did a great job of telling us um, how we got to this point, where we are, and where we're going. The Drug Task Force gave us information on the drugs that are coming into our area. Unfortunately, the dealers don't even know how much fentanyl is, is in a lot of the drugs that they, even when they get it. Um, and because fentanyl is cheaper to make, the DEA is seeing less and less heroin and more and more pure fentanyl. Um, they're mixing it with cocaine, which is unfortunate. People are unaware and end up overdosing. And we've also seen a surge in methamphetamines entering the drug trade in our area. So this is still a very big problem in our county that we need to address. Um, let's see. Oh, our thoughts and prayers for Sandy Strosak and her family for the passing of her mother, as Mr. Cordes said. And her mother was, looked absolutely beautiful. I mean, I know she's passing, yes. she looked beautiful. Yes, she and, really did. And the fa the family is you know, very spiritual, they so they you know they 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 seem to be well and in, in, in mind and and hot. So. Yeah. And then also, um, the Reentry Coalition holds an event uh, once a month on the fourth Tuesday of every month at 10 o'clock at the Amy Levin Center at six, 1165 North Ridge Road, right next to Commissioner Kalo's uh, carpet <laughs> shop. Um, what they do is they try to help people who have been incarcerated to integrate back into the community. Uh, they help with housing, employment, legal issues, substance abuse, and mental health issues. And because Christmas falls on a Tuesday this month, their meeting will be on December 18th rather than the 25th, which would be the fourth Tuesday. And that is all I have for my report today. I actually don't have a report at all this week, but condolences out to Sandy, her husband, and her children in regards to losing of their mother. Uh, wonderful family. And I saw Sandy last night when I went to visit. Mm -hmm. So it's all right, Sandy. The county will hold together till you get back. <laughs> I don't know. We'll let Jim do some things till you get back. Pardon me? I told Sandy the county will be okay till you get back. We'll let Jim do some things till you're back. I'm about at 30% <laughs> of I know that. Uh, I, I can't even find people's telephone numbers. So, uh, yes, I, I, I have yet, I have never lacked. The, the ability to admit that, that I'm, I'm not Sandy uh, able to run by myself. Commissioner <laughs> <laughs> Lundy? Our uh, sympathies uh, go out to, to Sandy and her family. I had the opportunity to, to know her husband long before I knew Sandy when I worked with Joe at the city of Leary. And I got to tell you, you just can't find uh, two better folks and a uh, nicer family uh, than the Strozak family. So it's, I, I know it's quite a loss for them. But, uh, you know, I think... Uh, um, Sandy's mother certainly left behind a great legacy with nine nine grandchildren, nine great grandchildren, a big family there. So, um, and obviously on this day we're remembering uh, former President uh, George H. W. Bush, um, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Back in 1988, uh, I actually campaigned against George Bush. I was the state press secretary for the Dukakis campaign, and uh, and uh, also uh, happened to be in the uh, Superdome, uh, the day that uh, Ronald Reagan kind of passed the torch to George Bush. I was working as a reporter at the time, and I remember there was just security everywhere uh, that evening. Um, but, uh, you know, I always thought he was a very, uh, very humble man. I always felt like he was never really comfortable with politics. They said he was a real competitive guy, but it always seemed like uh, when he had to get into the partisan stuff, he wasn't real comfortable with that. And, uh, but you know, could tell that he was always putting, uh, uh, you know, country first and, and ahead of politics. He was a war hero. He was, he was a, a war hero, pilot right? In WW two, he was shot down. Yeah. And uh, was rescued at sea and mm -hmm. went back and flew some more missions. Yeah, it's amazing that they actually had some film of that when he was, you know, being brought out of the water on that submarine. But, uh, uh, but I, as I said, I just thought uh, he certainly uh, represented the country very well with. Uh, honor and dignity that's for sure so had the opportunity to attend the Addis board meeting just we had a brief discussion there about uh, continuing to work on finding a path forward you know the important thing here too is we're waiting for lots of answers from the state 
as to what the state's going to be doing. And of course, now we have the transition of a new administration coming in. So we have to figure out how that's going to factor into everything. But um, you know, quite candidly, there's uh, lots of answers that we need to get from the state on a couple things. And um, we haven't received those answers yet, but we'll continue to work on it. Um, also been making my rounds, just meeting with some of the elected officials throughout the county. Had a chance to meet with Mayor Zilka here recently. Uh, they're uh, very excited about uh, the city had uh, uh, acquired, is acquiring some lakefront property, uh, which they think will be uh, very good for the community. So that was, uh, they're, they're very interested in that, very excited about that. Um, had the opportunity to sit down with Judge Jim Rowdy about some things that he's working on in his court. And also visited with uh, Mayor Jensen, trying to get an update on the ever-growing and exploding one of the fastest communities in the whole nation, growing communities in the nation, the city of Avon. Um, but I've always enjoyed working with, uh, with all of them. The Lorraine County Community Alliance, I, uh, hoping that we'll have a township and uh, city representatives and folks in government across the county attending Saturday morning. It starts at 8.30. We'll have our government round table. We have representatives from the federal level and the state level and the local level and Friday. 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 You said Saturday. Saturday. Oh, I said Saturday? Yes. Well, if you want to show up Saturday, too, we'll do a special uh, That would be Friday, edition, December 7th. Yeah, Friday, December 7th, not the 8th. And it starts at 8.30. I did say Saturday. You said Saturday, wow. yes. You can make a mistake, Commissioner. Man, I was going to show up a day late, you I guess, but, but I'll be there. And then we also have, uh, we'll be uh, presenting the Mike uh, Whitmore Award, um, which we've notified the recipient. Uh, we hope the media will come out for that as well, too. And it's an individual that is uh, very deserving of the honors, uh, done a tremendous job in helping all of us in, in government uh, make the county a better place and just making the county a better place overall. So we'll be doing that announcement on uh, Friday. And uh, just wanted to thank the county employees, the city employees, all the folks when we're driving along, we see all these magnificent Christmas lights, which I drove down Lake Road the other day. And for the first time, uh, the city of Avon Lake really went out and did an amazing job on the, the lights at Veterans Park. Uh, <laughs> somebody was telling me that they used to do like a lighting down there at the park and they would say, okay, we're gonna flip the switch and people look around like, did you turn the lights on yet? Because they didn't have many lights. Well, this year they definitely uh, did the lights up big time. But, but whether it's you know City of Elyria, Lorraine, uh, Avon Lake throughout the whole uh, county, uh, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort and work to put those things up and uh, uh, climbing ladders and all kinds of crazy things uh, to get everything in place. So uh, thank you to all the uh, city county uh, employees for uh, all the work you've done and helping you make the holiday a special time of year. And that and completes the courthouse, my. Courthouse, if you notice the courthouse with the red and green lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it looks nice. It looks it's festive, great. Very festive. We've we've done up what in the downtown area. Looks really great in the evening. It does. Uh, the city's done a wonderful job mm -hmm. uh, over in the park. So yep. very festive. It's very good. Four correspondence. I move the reading be waived. I'll second that. Discussion. Mr. Kalen. Aye. Aye. Mr. Monday. Aye. Ms. Kowski. Aye. Motion to go in executive session is outlined by the county administrator and the assistant county prosecutor. Second. This has been a broadcast of the recent Lorraine County Commissioner's General Meeting. Unless otherwise announced, meetings are held Wednesday morning at 9.30 at the Administration Building, 226 Middle Avenue, 4th Floor, Downtown Elyria. These are public meetings and you are invited to attend. Agendas are posted prior to the meeting at www.lorrainecounty.us. Click on Departments to see the Commissioner's page. Then click on View Agenda for a printable copy of the agenda. Welcome to a broadcast of the recent Lorraine County Commissioner's General Meeting. Unless otherwise announced, meetings are held Wednesday morning at 9.30 at the Administration Building, 226 Middle Avenue, 4th Floor, Downtown Elyria. These are public meetings and you are invited to attend.
Agendas are posted prior to the meeting at www.lorraincounty.us. Click on Departments to see the Commissioner's page, then click on View Agenda.